Well, we're going to be talking about your top 10 quarterbacks coming up in about a half hour. One guy who's yet to crack, crack the top 10, but who is uh, getting a lot of attention to a Tonga Vailoa, the fifth overall pick in the draft. He's got three starts now. The hip injury, fine. But, you know, every time the Wednesday injury report comes out, I pull up the entire document and I do a search, a global search for QB. And I just next, next, next in the browser to see which quarterbacks are on there. Right. And whoop, there's Tua Tonga Vailoa, foot injury, fully participated in practice, but he's got his first NFL injury. And I, I asked him after the win over the Chargers on Sunday, you know, what are you taking hits? How's it going? He says, Oh, I've taken plenty of hits, and I think I've i I'm I'm fine, thank you. I don't want any more. Yeah. He laughed. He said, I know that it's gonna keep happening, but yeah, I've been hit plenty already. And something happened on Sunday that caused his foot to be injured to the point where he's getting treatment on it. See, that's how a guy who fully participates in practice ends up on the injury report because he's in the training room and there's a record of him getting treatment. They have to disclose it at that point. If you don't, that's when you get busted by the league. So there's something up with the foot. We don't know which one. Didn't say left or right, but he's got a foot injury, Chris. And uh, I think he'll keep playing. Yeah. But you have to you have to watch and well, wonder. Yeah. You know, as he takes more contact, will he get to a point where he has to miss some time? You're right. Well, and we know he's he's had some lower leg injuries, you know, in his college career. So that's where you're a little just, you know, cautious. He's got injury history. We know that. He has taken a few hits here and there. You know, and, 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 you know, I know he laughed at all that. And, and you know, I, I hope he continues to take it serious. It's just a different world in the NFL. I don't know how to explain it. When you run the ball in college, you feel like, oh, whoa, I got, I'm tucking the ball away. I might be able to do something here. Even a big lumbering, you know, stiff like myself used to take off in college every now and then and go, whoa, I'm going to get 10, 12 yards here. Look at this. In the NFL, the second you cross the line of scrimmage, you're like, whoa, they're coming at me from everywhere and they're mad as hell and they want to kill me. And it's just, it's a different league and you got to be careful and he's not going to get away with some of the stuff he got away with in the SEC and we know he didn't even get away with it there. So that's, he's been pretty good so far. I'm not taking those big hits and I just would say that to him because I'm rooting for the kid. I like the kid a lot. Get down, get out of way, throw the ball. No one's going to call you a chicken if you slide or do anything like that. It's best for you to be out there for your team healthy and going. I watched the movie Invincible recently for the first time in a long time. And one thing that that movie does very well is convey. Yeah, the that chaos sense, of football. That right? sense of. It does. Oh, God, life, life comes at you fast yeah. on an NFL football field. It does. It, it, you know, it, they do a good job of kind of putting you in the helmet and giving you a little bit of a, a, little bit of a feel. Uh, because that's what it is. I mean, you got a helmet on and it's running and people are yelling and, you know, it's shaking and. You know, that's that's the way it is, especially for the new guys. Now, you know, Patrick Mahomes and Aaron Rodgers, they're probably seeing symphony and everybody's going in slow motion because they're so awesome. That's what the good players have. But at first, it is pure chaos. Well, that's one thing Tua told me on Sunday as well. It's already starting to slow down for him, which is good news good. because he does need to find a way to be that conductor amid the chaos that does become a symphony eventually. Otherwise, you do get hit, you do get hurt, and it does derail your career Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.